All right, so I was walking around my house talking to myself, so I decided it was probably time to pull out my camera and make a video. So there's this app I really like to use because it's a nice form of communication called Snapchat. And you're probably asking yourselves right now, how is it a good form of communication when all you're doing is sending pictures back and forth? Well, let me tell you, I'm not one of those people that sends ugly ass pictures of myself back and forth with texts over top of it, but rather I use it to kind of send videos back and forth to my friends, so it's more of a face-to-face -face interaction rather than texting, which I absolutely hate, partially because I'm lazy. Now, as many of you probably know with me, everything good in life must have its problems, and I've got a bitch about them. So there are a few problems I've found having had Snapchat for two years or so now, and I'm just gonna quickly name a few for you because I got nothing better to talk about. All right, so first of all, I mentioned how I send videos back and forth to friends, right? Like me talking or me doing something stupid on video. Well, sometimes I go ahead and click the wrong name right as I send a video of something stupid I'm doing. And it's always, it's never just me speaking casually into the camera when I send it to the wrong person. No, I'm always doing something like incredibly dumb. Yeah, I know that's not really a problem with the app itself, more so my own negligence and dumbassery, but you know, that's still a problem I have with it, damn it. Another, and probably the most fucking annoying problem, is those dumbass people that insist on posting like a 500 second Snapchat story of some shitty party they're at, or some dumb nightclub. Like, do these people really think people are sitting there staring at their phones for upwards of five minutes watching some shitty party they're at through the crappy quality of your cell phone camera? No, nah, most people are probably doing what I do and tapping their way through that long ass Snapchat story to get rid of the notification, you annoying dick. I also hate when people send out mass Snapchats because I'm never sure if I'm supposed to respond to it or if I'm not supposed to respond to it. And every time I do respond to it, they always just ignore me anyways, so why send it to me in the first place? Snapchat stories in general are pretty much all fucking annoying and I wish they didn't exist. Look at all these people's lives I don't care about. So unless you're doing something interesting with your life, like you're on the International Space Station or something, please don't upload a 200 fucking second Snapchat story of your damn cat. All right, so that's all I got for you today. I know, super interesting, super awesome. I always talk about the most interesting things. I, uh, I really don't know what I'm talking about anymore.